Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this. I'm not sure what to call it. I'm thinking locking gatefold card or a lock and pop gatefold or just lock and pop. I'm not sure. Basically, this is how it looks when you take out the envelope or box envelope. And then the side pieces are locked behind the front topper. And then when it opens, it opens up like this. So I have, I have similar to this, but the ones I've done before, when they fold flat, they join in the middle here. Can you see when you lay it down you have this one inch section and that's because I wanted it to sit behind the topper. It's just really unusual, really like it, something a little bit different, very easy and um, lots of fun to make as well. I've used my edge dies here which I'll show you through the tutorial and then once again you just open it up like so and it displays like this. Really fun, I'll bring it up a bit closer so you can see all that shine from the silver mirrored card. Love the papers. So much sparkle and shine on this. In fact, I might spray it with some shimmer spray as well. But anyway, there you have it. Let me show you how I made it. I've already gone ahead, as always, and cut everything that I need. And I've also stuck some of the mats down, but I'll go through all that in a moment. So for the 5x7 version, you want a piece of 10x7 cardstock. And along the 10 inch side, you're going to score at half an inch, two and a half, four and a half, five and a half, seven and a half and nine and a half. I'll just repeat that again. So at half an inch, two and a half inches, four and a half, five and a half, seven and a half and nine and a half. Now because some of the folds will go in different directions, if you just flip it over and just go over those again, you're just kind of squashing those fibers just to make it a bit easier when we go to burnish them all. Okay, so that's all the scoring that you need. Okay, so I've just started folding it. Basically, that's what you want to achieve. So you'll have that half inch score line here, and then you'll have that second score line. You fold that one in, and then just fold that one back. Okay, so you have that shape. And then that score line, you just fold it away from you. The idea is, is that see when the card opens that's how it's going to lock with your topper so in my case I'm going to be popping this on top and then when they open it it will have that shape so if I just lay it down like that it's kind of an M shape so you will have these little wings either side and you've got your M shape with this flat one inch piece in the middle okay so once you've done all of that it's up to you whether you want to add the edges or not, so you don't have to, you can just keep these like this. And then I just added a strip of a quarter inch by six and three quarters if you're doing the seven, if you just want to have something in there. I've already decorated that one. So here's the other side, and this is from the, the five by seven excellent edges, the landscape one. Now the reason it says landscape is because these were the ones that went with the landscape tower fold, but you could use these with any of the tower fold sizes and they're great on their own as I'm showing you now, you don't need to use them with the tower fold. But if you do have any edge dies, then they work really well with this style because basically this is like a little tab now for us to be able to stick them to. But you get these two and you get the presents as well. You just see them there. And then there's, these two have sold out this is the other five by seven, and then that's the six by six, okay? So I've gone ahead and cut two of the frame, so you'll get the outer frame piece, which is there, and then I've gone ahead and cut, you can pass them through once, because you get the six that will fit within the six outlines there, and I've just used you know, some of the same papers there to um, cut the flowers. So I've got my six flowers here, and I've put a little embellishment in the middle of them, and then this strip here is just half an inch by six and three quarters, and that's just to fill that white space really. Again, you don't have to, but I'm just gonna stick the rest of the flowers on this one, and then I'm just going to add some glue along there, and you're gonna attach this piece to the end. And it will fit perfectly because it's the same height. Okay, so that's all attached. You can see now when that folds in, it's all going to fit within that five by seven size. Okay, so I've got all these mats and layers for here. So I'm going to have the floral one on the outer sides, and then I've got those two in there, and then I've got this strip that's going to go through the middle. So you'll want 
the same amount for the back as well, but you'll want one of them to be white or plain so you can write your message. But those, these all measure. The silver is one and three quarters by six and three quarters, and the pattern paper is one and a half by six and a half. Use some double-sided sticky tape to attach this to the to the mirror to cardstock because the surface it's easier to because it's got a smooth surface it's easier to use double-sided tape. And I'm just going to use my glue now. And then this one here is three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters, and that's just going to go like I said through the middle. So I'm going to get all those stuck down and the ones on the back as well. that's all of my mats and layers stuck down on the front and then again on the back there. Now I've got a feeling I might give the wrong measurements. I'm going to do a voiceover and edit that back in so you wouldn't have noticed but the silver is one and three quarters by six and three quarters. So your mat layer and then your pattern is one and a half by six and a half. These ones I think I said correctly three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters and those ones are half an inch by six and three quarters. So now when that folds down you might find there's you know a little bit of kind of bulk there with the mats and layers. So what I've done with my topper and this one I've used, some of you might have this, this is quite an old die set from I'm going to say Tonic Studios, I'm pretty sure what I tend to do when I get lots of like odd kind of things whether they've been free in magazines or been given to me I've just put here hearts and love dies and I'm pretty sure this is a tonic studio one so I die cut it in white and then I paper pieced it with silver just to match everything else and then the flowers are from my border die there and then the butterfly and the leaves I've pulled from this set here so I'll just use that butterfly and this one I just kind of pulled bits off just to kind of nestle in the leaves there and I've put some vellum behind the butterfly as well just to create a nice little topper. And then on the back I've put two layers of foam just so this is going to be lifted and it's going to be able to lock that all in. Now I'm also thinking I might put a strip of this pattern paper through the middle there so I'm wondering if there's a bit too much silver I'd like a bit more pattern. Might do the floral pattern actually just to have a bit of that. So I'm going to take that away and I'm just going to focus on laying this down in the middle like so. So now you can see that will pop out when it's displayed. I think it looks beautiful. So that's how the card will then stand like so and then it will be like that when they take it out of the envelope or the box envelope. If you prefer the box envelopes I'll link my tutorial up here. But how wonderful does that look? Really, really pleased with this. I think they look so pretty. So after looking at it a bit more, I decided to add those strips in there. So these are a quarter of an inch by six and a half. I just think it just completes the card and there's not so much silver on show. I like this silver panel through the middle, but it looks really good and then easy to open and it displays really nicely. And like I said, you've got all that space on the back as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this locking gatefold or lock and pop, I don't know, <laughs> I need to think about it. But as always, I will share the links to the product that I've used below and I will also link up here any other card tutorials that are similar to this and gatefold styles and stuff just to give you a bit more inspiration. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so and um, hit that notification bell as well because then you'll be notified when I upload a new video each time. Thanks for watching, bye.